Hello and welcome to the Sarah Geiger International YouTube channel. My name is Sarah Lobby Geiger de Rodriguez. I'm an executive communication trainer based in Melbourne who comes from an opera and speech pathology background. And today I wanted to help you out if you're wondering as to whether elocution or speech eloquence training is a good option for you if it's a valid option, if you can get effective outcomes. So if you're asking yourself, will it help me become a better presenter, more confident in interactions at work, this vlog is for you. Let's take it from the top. You may have a question around what even is elocution. So don't be shy if that's your question. If you have any questions throughout this vlog, feel free to just drop them in the comments. I read every single comment. I love to hear from people in the community, so drop any questions you have. So if you're wondering, what is elocution? Well, elocution is the art of expressive, precise, and clear speaking. Something that I would argue is actually a lost art because back in the golden age of film and television, and even prior to that in the 19th century, 18th century, people from well-to-do or well-heeled families were very carefully groomed in how they presented themselves in public. They were trained in the art of rhetoric, so how they formed their logical thought processes when delivering responses responses, arguments or debates. They were trained in the art of vocal execution so that their sound was clean and clear when speaking. They were trained in how to walk. You know, we have those old movies where we see young ladies walking with books on their head. So elocution has come from a very old, somewhat archaic history around how do you present and conduct yourself when interacting in public. These days, you might be wondering, well, Given that it's come from such an old tradition steeped in history and conservatism and formality and even the upper class way of interacting, is it relevant in today's society? My answer for you is grounded in the research. So what does research tell us about our speaking delivery? Well, we know from extensive, robust studies that precise confident and eloquent speakers are rated with lots of perceptual bias. They're seen as more capable, more competent, they get higher levels of charisma and executive presence. So eloquence matters to you if you're an individual who really wants to get more traction with your ideas in the economy of ideas. We know that there is so much noise out there and people that can present their ideas crisply and cleanly tend to get more competence ratings. So if you're conducting yourself at work where the stakes are really high, lots of pressure is on, about who presents their ideas best. Maybe you're selling something or giving really strong recommendations where the stakes are so high, you will want to consider, is there a way that you can gain some traction with your expertise and experience by working on your speaking delivery? Now, in my work as an executive communication consultant, I deploy lots of elocution devices, those that are grounded in scientific research. So I'm not the kind of consultant who will tell you stick lots of marbles in your mouth or walk around the house with books on your head. I'm referring to research mostly from Europe around things to do with voice tone, vocabulary expansiveness, delivery and posture, body language factors, as well as the manner in which the message is structured logically so that you can build your skills at creating a strong hook point with your listener to get more traction in your professional reputation. From time to time, people ask me, will elocution approaches make me sound less real. I would argue that no, you won't sound less real, but as our society evolves, there's less attention in the mainstream media to eloquence and clarity of expression. We now see that most social media videos get more traction at six seconds, so people are really losing the skill of presenting a sustained message with utmost clarity, elegance, poise, and polish. However, although in mainstream communication, like if we look at the majority of people, most people don't know how to use their voices. Most rely on very minimal, neutral words, so repeating the same phrases over and over again. 
most people don't know how to walk on stage, deliver a precise message at the level of an expert elite public speaker like Obama or Oprah or Simon Sinek, most people have lost the skill of public speaking presentation at the level we see from the golden age of speaking. We can think of people like Martin Luther King and many other examples who had that oratory excellence. So if you're considering, will it make me sound less real? I would argue that the capacity to present your ideas with utmost elegance and precision is a trainable skill. It's a real skill. It won't make you sound like an artificial intelligent device. Deploying elocution methods into your speaking growth won't make you sound less real. It will simply make you sound less mainstream. And the reason for this is so many people are neglecting the art of oration and speaking poise and eloquence. So it will definitely make you stand out. And that's probably what you need. If you're in a position where you're seeking career advancement and you feel like no one's noticing your potential, expertise and competence to be promoted, or if you're a business leader looking at gaining more traction in the industry, speaking eloquence will help you to stand out from the pack because it's one area that so many people are neglecting. So if by now you're wondering, how can I get started? What would be the best way to polish my public communication skills so that I can deliver presentations of a gold standard and really stand out from the crowd with agility to find the perfect word for the moment and to sound good while using my voice and articulating my message? You may be wondering, what's the best way to begin? Well, my advice would be to seek out a consultant who has strong academic gravitas behind their methods. So you might want to look into someone who has skills in the art of vocal training. They should understand how the voice works anatomically and know how to adjust your speaking voice signal so that you increase your acoustic advantage and sound clean, clear and consistent. They should also have a lot of insight into interaction methods. So they should understand the scientific principles of successful communication. So I'd be looking at someone who has some training in either organizational psychology or speech and language pathology. That's a rigorous background skill set that will build up your understanding of how to build rapport, accelerate emotional intelligence, and create more persuasive connection with your conversation partners in an ethical way that's definitely grounded in research principles. They should also have understanding of language devices. So it's very good to consider someone who creates a lot of content themselves, who writes a lot of content themselves. So I'd be looking at any consultant you're working with, what is their body of work like? Do they have a YouTube channel? Can you watch their long form content? Do you see a sense of consistency in how they present their ideas? Do they look consistently polished and eloquent? That's the kind of person to go for because individuals that work in this area should showcase the skills themselves as strong, expert and elite communicators. If you see them speaking well and eloquently, you'll know that their tools are working. I also strongly recommend asking the hard questions, so really understanding what outcome it is that you need. Let's take an example. Maybe you've been asked to speak at a summit or a conference and it's your first opportunity to be in the limelight, deliver your value-based message to a large audience. You may want to ask a question like, can you tell me about speakers you've assisted in the past to speak at presentations or summits and what worked for them and what kind of outcomes did you achieve? Don't be shy to ask the difficult questions, especially if that individual is an expert in the field and billing at a high ticket price. They need to be able to answer the question for you and reassure you that they do have the tools that you're looking for. I also recommend that when you choose an executive communication consultant or someone who's working on elocution devices to enhance your speaking delivery, that you investigate the ability to work on both your written and spoken communication. In considering how the brain and body 
communicates and prepares messages, both written and spoken skills need to be worked on to get good outcomes. So really investigate what access you have to someone who can enhance your vocabulary using various tools as much as your sentence structure and then also your interpersonal public facing delivery as well. And finally, a strong word of caution. There are some elocutionists or public speaking trainers who will possibly set you up for failure in saying that working on elocution or public speaking doesn't need to include work on your voice tone. However, consider this, your voice is a muscle It vibrates to create the sound beneath your message. It's the foundation of your message. So in seeking communication training, make sure that a core element of the training is grounded in voice tone. We have extensive research into the impact of voice tone on listener engagement, your ratings of charisma and credibility, as well as persuasiveness rating. So if voice tone is an area that's overlooked, run a mile because you can get so many wonderful outcomes from investing in new vocal learning when it comes to public speaking, leadership presence, charisma and gravitas. If you've got any questions about voice tone, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. I'm both a trained voice therapist as a certified practicing speech pathologist I employ a lot of vocal devices and techniques in my executive communication program called the C-Suite, and I'm also a professional opera singer, so I'm very dedicated to emphasizing the importance of voice tone for your professional speaking and totally open to answering any questions you have about how your voice is working for you and how you can enhance and optimize it. Do you have any more questions? If so, drop a question in the comments below. I can't wait to engage and interact with you around this topic. And finally, I would like to invite you to a free bonus masterclass, which will train you in how to sound more confident, look more confident, and feel more confident at work. I'll drop the details following this clip. Make sure you watch it and you can get all the info on how to take the class on demand today if you're feeling pumped to expand your charisma and speaking eloquence. Thanks so much for watching. I vlog weekly around the topics of executive communication, charisma, social intelligence, building rapport and empathy as a leader at work. I'm specifically here for emerging leaders and top tier executives, CEOs and founders. So make sure you subscribe if you fit one of those boxes. Looking forward to seeing you here in the community comments and have a wonderful day. Ciao for now. Thank you.